YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video, guys. We've shot a lot of content in chronological order featuring the Sony 77 inch A95L. This TV has been amazing and I've covered a couple of different topics that you can definitely review for yourself. Enjoy the content up to this point, though, when we spoke about the gaming space of this TV, we did it specifically coming from me being more on the uh, PC enthusiast side of it. Today, that's going to change. We are going to be connecting a Sony PlayStation 5 to this amazing TV. I am interested in seeing exactly what kind of potentials I can get out of the PlayStation 5. Now, I will tell you guys. It's been a while since I've had a PS5 connected up to a large TV in the living room space. I did have one briefly on my S95C, but I literally was just playing Street Fighter 6. And so I had it just kind of dialed into my setup for that, if you will. I digress. This video, we are going to talk about the PS5 and the Alpha 95 Legend right after this intro. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I wouldn't be myself if I didn't take you on a little bit of a lifestyle trip and kick. So I like to shoot these videos in vlog style. Use the timestamps to get to where you need to get. All right, so we're going to be hooking a PS5 up in this living room. We're going to be using this 25 foot HDMI 2.1 cable. That's going to give me everything that I need to be able to pass through an optimal signal and my living room has been changed. There was a time where I had the PS5 as well as my Oculus. They're both white, as you can see. And even though my TV stand has a little bit of tint there, it just threw things off. I just like things to be clean. So right now I feel like I have a nice, clean aesthetic. And that led to me adding another TV stand into the mix of my living room. Um, so what I'm going to do temporarily is put the PS5 into this TV stand right above where the Oculus is. So let me show you where I currently got the PS5. All right, guys, welcome to the dojo. The dojo, AKA my game room. We got the S95C there, Cameo. All right, man, we're actually working on the thumbnail for this thing. Not sure exactly how it's gonna turn out, but uh, yeah, so my PS5 is actually in my Chulix arcade cabinet. You know how the big YouTubers do. You shoot one thing, you got to kind of tag in other. And there's my Vulix. So there's some content out there. We'll be bringing some more here. But I got my PS5 connected right into this thing. And I actually showed this briefly when we did the uh, PS5 remote play video on the A95L. That's up on the channel too. I think that's a really cool feature. But you're definitely not going to get the max out of the console of course streaming is cool it's convenient but it's just not really what you want if you have the ability to get a direct direct connection excuse me and if you can get a direct connection that's what you want to utilize so we're going to snatch this thing out the ps5 that you've seen that i used kind of to shoot this uh photo for this thumbnail for this video belongs to my son so he was nice enough to just kind of let me um pull his out even though he doesn't get to use it until the weekend. That's kind of my thing. You can do YouTube on the TV. You can do the iPad on the weekday, but weekend is when they can do the console play. So we're going to snatch this thing right out of my arcade cabinet where I do have it hooked up. This is kind of like how I use my PlayStation. It's primarily for fighting games. So for the sake of this video content, we're going to snatch it out. All right. And there's a look down in there. Don't say I never showed you anything cool. <laughs> so yeah, I keep my PS5 rested right into my arcade cabinet. The uh, black and orange cabinet is called the Orange Diamond. It has the Xbox Series X in there, but PS5 is in here. So I'm just going to kind of borrow the console bare bone. I don't need the HDMI. I don't need the power cord. I've got that from my kid and from the long cable that I have. So we just need to pull this out because I've got content preloaded on here that I think I want to utilize for this video. Let's get that going. All right, man. Does that look clean? Got the white RK stick, the PlayStation 5 and the Oculus. That looks clean, man. Anybody that knows me, that really knows me, they know I like my setup to look very nice. <laughs> it's important to me. All right, so we're going to get this thing right here connected. This is a 25-foot HDMI, as I said <clears throat> in an earlier transition of this video. This is coming good handy. Now, I originally purchased this because I had my gaming PC set up where... 
the PS5 is, but aesthetically, I just wanted things to, you know, be where they were, and it, it was fine where it was, honestly. I just was being a little extra. Uh, but this will come out to be nice because what I can do is I'm probably going to leave my PS5 here. And then when I decide that I want to use it for the cabinet, I could just unplug the HDMI and the power and I can just kind of leave it there. Now, this cable is obnoxious. This will be something that I'll leave back here and I'll just kind of route it across the room behind the couch, behind the bookshelf. I tell people, don't be afraid of wires. As you can see, I do have some wires, but, you know, it's nothing we're crossing over. The problem is how the HDMI's are on the TV, uh, and I'm not going to run this thing to the receiver. So, because even when you bypass and turn off audio or video processing on a receiver, you're introducing more input latency. So, this is going directly to the TV. So, this will be one of those situations where people are like, "Hey, Sony doesn't have um, four HDMI 2.1s." It only has two. And while my receiver does support that, again, as I just explained, you want to minimize input latency. I like to let the picture of the TV do as much processing as as possible. Like I want a direct one to one for me, even having my Apple TV connected to my receiver. Currently, I think I'm going to change that eventually. Um, I like things to just go direct from whatever the source is to the display. And that's what I encourage too. But yeah, this is one of those, you know, talking points where it would be nice if the PlayStation, I'm sorry, the PlayStation, the Sony A95L had uh, four 2.1 ports because I would legitimately just kind of route in a longer HDMI cable in, in my real life scenario, right? Like not fabricated for review purposes, but this is like how my stuff is. I would I would have a dedicated console option for it, but I can't because I only got two ports. So we're going to run this and uh, get it connected. All right, guys. So we got this thing connected. Input. Immediately, I'm seeing PlayStation 5. Now, I'm not sure exactly why it is coming up as uh, HDMI 1 because it's plugged into 4, which 4 is blocked off. See what happens if I hit 4. Four is the port that it's on. I have no idea why the TV is seeing it as one. But if we go to one, I don't know if you heard the beep, it automatically turned the console on. So unlocking some features, that's nice. Now, listen, if this TV somehow utilizes port one, okay, it switched to four. It did switch to four, okay. Tells me immediately, get some game functionality. Now, port four on this TV was my gaming PC, so that's that's kind of what we've got going on there. We got the game mode here, picture presets, VRR, blur reduction, all of that. This is a newer layout um, for the A95L. We've also got some readings down here. 4K tells us what the source device is. Forgive the blooming. Let me fix that. Yeah, it's much better. 4K, right? 60 Hertz, HDR10, BT2020, etc., etc., etc. All right, so even though I did have a prior source connected to this PS5, when it detects that it's plugged to a new display, it will take you through the HDR settings. Um, camera's making this extremely blue. If you've seen this before, you know that this is more dark. Um, the colors are very authentic um, from this TV. It's uh, showing me a great representation of what I'd like to see. Hit some of these lights. Get this HDR sliders all out the way. TV automatically saying, hey, the following settings have been optimized for your TV. Make adjustments if necessary. This thing already just says, hey man, look, I've got you. God, dog light cannon i mean let there be light sony on sony yes beautiful beautiful illumination oh my god the black listen this uh blooming you're seeing does not exist that light is just bright as hell the blacks are dark 
even if I turn this thing down all the way, it's still not going to show. This is amazing. Let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. Maybe it helps fight for some of that, right? Okay, so yeah, so we're focusing on this. Camera's still not going to give you all of that that it is, but man, this is beautiful right here. Blacks are super nice, crisp. That white bright is there. Infinitely black. So that's nice. It's already set up, kind of pre-calibrates itself. Um, meshes very well with what the TV does. The TV is a master series TV. So out of the box, things look extremely crisp and detailed and fine tuned. And that appears to be the same as what you get with the uh, PS5. I'm having a hard time seeing where the damn TV ends right now. It's the black is so perfect on the corners. Okay, yes. Some Spider-Man. Man, this looks beautiful. Yeah, I love it. I love it. This thing, man, listen. It's just, it's just like, just right. Now, I haven't... I still haven't really messed with any settings here. We don't have any live color turned on. It's just the standard preset for the game mode uh, that you would see. Let's take a look at this game right here. Mm. Man. The two subs, man, you got to have two subs for your setup. said adjust brightness until the ghost eyes are barely visible guys i can't see the ghost eyes right now i don't have to adjust anything it's until they're barely visible dude i have to get up on this thing and see now i guys i've never played this game so let's let's let that be known there yeah i gotta get all the way up on this thing it's already set like i don't need to adjust nothing damn this looks incredible. Change audio output. Home theater. Yeah, wide dynamic range for use with the 5.1 or 7.2. Does not provide 3D audio experience. Well, I got a 5.2, that's my situation. Never played this game. Lethal would be Go cinematic. Camera's gonna do the best that it can to bring the highlights here, but I could tell you I'm due to get a camera upgrade like real soon. And when I do, the content is gonna go to another level because I wanna be able to show this as close to possible as what I'm actually seeing. And just looking at my viewfinder, the colors and everything are just not coming through exactly 
This looks flawless. It looks really good. It's being a cutscene and all. And again, this is something I've never seen, so you can feel free to skim forward or back, but man, everything looks really nice. I opened up the exposure a little bit. I'm gonna turn it back down. Wow, this went right into gameplay. Hey man, this is this this just looks impressive. to cut scene. Oh. Okay, this is gameplay. Oh man, yeah. The fire looks ridiculous. L1 to block. I like the game's hard, man. Hit me one or two times and I'm dead and I'm good with that. I don't like the easy mode stuff. I didn't see him coming from the side. Alright, we embodied all these fools. Man, look at that fire. All right, guys, this could be nothing more than an initial impressions of me first time seeing PlayStation 5 with the A95L. Um, if you guys have some suggestions of some games that I should test, some other settings, you know, I haven't tinkered with anything. Everything that I've shown you has been real time. That's why I like to try to shoot it in like vlog style so that I'm just kind of taking you on the journey. But man, it looks it looks really good. Even getting up close um, does look a little bit more pixelated the closer you get to it but a very cinematic experience. Um, I have to be responsible in making a mention that I feel in my heart, and this is just me just trying to be helpful. You know, research building a PC or buying into a PC. I feel as if you are able to invest in one of these displays, a QD OLED, a white OLED, um, you know, try to get yourself a gaming PC because I feel like it's going to be the best, the absolute best, representation of you being able to see more fluidity more graphical changes you know it's just it, it's trust me it's an experience that you will want and i'm going to bring more content around the pc space again the content shot in chronological order um 
you know, the video prior was about my gaming PC that was for this TV. And so here we are talking about the PlayStation 5, but this looks really good, man. I, I enjoy everything about this. Details and everything are exactly where they need to be. Black is so inky, black and perfect. The brightness is just very purposeful. It's, it's, it's done really well, guys, but that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know if you have any type of opinion Leave it in the comment section. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace, God bless, and as always, say, max love.